your right. Pamela Anderson really embodied the 90s bombshell. Pamela's early 90s fashion is style expert Preston Conrad's favorite, and we still see some of these staples today. A lot of high-waisted jeans, denim cutoffs, athletic-inspired apparel, and it really kind of gave us this relatable feel to her style. Pam began to show a sexier side when she became a movie star in the mid-90s. One of the most iconic Pam Anderson movie star looks was at the Cannes Film Festival in 1995 at the premiere of Barb Wire. This is a gorgeous leather cat suit with a plunging neckline. I had that in my suitcase. I just ripped it out and put it on. Her style began to evolve when she started dating Motley crew rocker Tommy Lee. We're getting a lot more sex and a lot less sweet. So we're seeing lace and cutouts and dramatic headwear and heavier makeups. I love the hat. Thank you. I, I just wanted to wear something fun and kooky. I think Tommy put that on me and the blue eyeshadow. This is Tommy dressing me. This is why I'm not married anymore. He's horrible taste. But Preston sees Pam's outrageous looks at the 1997 AMAs and the 1999 VMAs as iconic. This is something that we did not see on a lot of celebrities, giant hats, tall brims. I mean, this was just a fun, campy thing to look at that I could totally see the new Gen Z crowd doing now. Some of Pam's most memorable looks were also during the era she dated Kid Rock, like at the 2003 AMAs. I love this look with the all black number, the side cutouts. This is something we could see on Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox on a carpet today. Perhaps Pam's most rebellious look was in 2001 when she arrived to the ultra-exclusive Vanity Fair party with Liz Hurley in a very revealing outfit. And then the anti-fashion statement is... <laughs> Despite her anti-formal fashion statement, Pamela isn't above black tie, as we saw in 2006 when she graced the Golden Globes red carpet in Bill Blass. I can make anything look trashy.